Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. I do appreciate it. I guess I'm doing a few trailer reactions tonight so I can edit them over the next couple days. And I have a playlist that's trailers to review and I'm noticing that a lot of them are horror themed, at least from the looks of the thumbnails. I, I don't know why they're pushing this this early for the Halloween season or whatever. So, uh, the trailer I'm reacting and reviewing today is the trailer for The Invitation. I don't know what it is, so let's check it out. It was always just my mom and me. To have a family. That's what I really want. No way. I got a cousin. That is the whitest man I've ever seen. He wants to meet up. Oliver? Cousin Evie. <laughs> it sounds so Jane Austen when you say it like that. <laughs> you know, my mom always wanted to take me to England to learn about our family history. There's a wedding coming up, actually. You should come. I would love to, but oh, I... Come on, everyone is dying to meet you. Uh... Wow, it's incredible. I believe this is one of our important guests. Evie, this is a close friend of the family, Walter Deville. Uh, hi. Hi. Looking forward to getting to know you better, Evie. What are you doing down there? Miss, you should return to your room. We're all so delighted that you're here. Which one's the groom? The groom and his bride will make their grand entrance tomorrow. Ready? I, I can't shake the feeling that everyone is staring at me. Can you blame them? You and Walter seem to be getting awfully close, Evie. I'm curious, though. What has he told you about us? Ow! Let me see. <gasps> there she is. Where are the bride and groom? As you all know, there has been someone missing from this table. But that once broken bond will be renewed tonight. To Evie. My new bride. I want to go home. But this is your home. Get her prepared. The water <laughs> Please. Here, dear. Hello, Mr. Harker here. There's a young lady who seems quite distressed. I'm so glad you've come to your senses, my love. All right, you are cordially invited to a nightmare centuries in the making. That's a good tagline. So it is a vampire film. Um, okay. Some of the moments I found unintentionally funny. Maybe because some of it's like a cliche. Like, she finds out she has this family that she doesn't know about. And then Mr. Creepy Charming Guy um, invites her to this wedding in England or wherever. So she's like, eh, I don't know. And then I guess she goes because... Who knows what the driving factor is. Probably to, you know, get it on. Um, so then she gets there and there's this even more creepy guy. Um, like, don't these people just freak you out, like, from the beginning when you'd be like, okay, I don't know you people, you're all white. I'm the only colored person here. I feel uncomfortable, you look weird, you talk with accents that usually should be super hot but it's creeping me out, so I'm going back to the airport. Sayonara, goodbye. It's just unintentionally funny to me, but the trailer looks good. I don't think I caught a rating, but I think it's gonna be rated R because of the whole blood vampire aspect of things. I think movies are better when they have that option to go for an R rating. It gives you more creative liberty. This pulled upon some other themes from other uh, horror films in the past, such as that one, uh, is it called Ready or Not, or something like that? I can't remember the name. 
I'll, I'll throw up a poster over here. But it kind of reminded me of that. Just remember, as a warning, if you ever get invited to extended family that you didn't know you had, and they have accents, and they're kind of creepy, and then you walk into the dinner table, and it's kind of dark and a little, I don't know, unconventional, and everyone's dressed up and they're all holding up masks. Just as a general rule, I would say get the hell out of there as fast as possible. So, um, that's my advice to you, my audience. All right, what did you think of this trailer? Um, do you have a favorite zombie film? No, not zombie. What the f***? Do you have a favorite vampire film? My favorite is 30 Days of Night. I think it's extremely creative and very interesting take on the genre. As always, if you'd like this video and subscribe, I would very much appreciate it. Thanks for watching. My name is Aaron, and I hope you see me in another video. Goodbye.